Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to do a video. I haven't done a football video in a while. Well, since the Super Bowl. So I figured I'd do one now since there's lots of stuff going on. Um, gonna focus on the NFC East right now, being a Redskins fan. I'm gonna start with the Redskins and what's been going on with them, which is a whole lot of drama. Um, so they franchise Kirk Cousins. They don't give him a long-term deal. He looks like he's going to be our quarterback. And because there's a whole bunch of rumors going on about him going to San Francisco to be with, um, yeah, Kyle Shanahan, being, who just became the head coach, was the offensive coordinator for Washington. And at one point, and then he was the offensive coordinator for Atlanta. Took Atlanta to the Super Bowl with Matt Ryan. And, you know, so he wanted to be, re rumors were going around, he wanted to be reunited with Kyle Shanahan. Didn't look like it was going to happen. Um, but now there's rumors going around about how he might be traded. And I just thought today, Kirk Cousins posting something. I don't know if it was Twitter or Instagram or what. Saying he's going to be a 49er. I don't know what's going on. They need to give him a long-term deal. He deserves a long-term deal. We need some sort of continuity in that franchise. I'm, I've been a Redskins fan since I was five years old. And I am so damn sick of Dan Snyder. He needs to sell that freaking team. This team is never going to go anywhere if he's the owner. It's it become pretty apparent. Um, why wouldn't you sign Kirk Cousins? I know he was in love with RG3, but RG3 is gone. We need Kirk Cousins. He knows the offense. He's He threw for like 5,000 yards last year. Give him a freaking contract. Who are you going to have to play quarterback if he's not there? Colt McCoy? Drives me nuts. So, all the drama with Kirk Cousins and Deshaun Jackson signs with the Bucks. Chris Baker also signs with the Bucks. Pierre Garçon signs with San Francisco. Um, I'm more upset about losing Garçon personally than Jackson. I know Jackson's a deep threat, but Garcon just gets it done, down, down after down. He's a down after down receiver. He he makes so many third down receptions. Yeah, Jackson's the barn burner. He gets he gets the fifty plus yard reception every once in a while, but Garcon just plays his heart out, and I'm gonna miss Garcon a lot. One of the bright spots on this team. I. I really like Garcon, and I hope he does well in San Francisco. And he's a tough, he's a tough player, and he'll do. I'm sure he'll do good with wherever he goes. Um, I'm thankful Jackson because I heard rumors that the Eagles wanted him and the Cowboys wanted him. I'm thankful um, he didn't go to either one of those teams. I'm happy about that. Um, you know, I say um a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll say uh. Uh, Chris Baker, great player, had a great year. He's gone. <laughs> to the Bucks. Bucks are making some good moves. Um, yeah. See, Deshaun Jackson with Winston, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Look for him to make some noise next year. So yeah, so all this happens, and they just released Scott McClellan. Is that how you pronounce his name? Their GM, Bruce Allen, said it has to do with um, his alcohol issues. I can't really argue with that. I can't really argue with getting rid of any of the the higher ups. Really, it's just I don't know. They they gave um uh. I can't think of his name. Jay Gruden. They gave him a contract extension, even though he's already on for another two years. 
But whatever. It's Dan Snyder doesn't give contract extensions. How many coaches have we had since he became the owner? It's good to know at least we'll have some continuity as far as that con that's concerned. So yeah, we lost these players. We got to get some. They they signed DJ Swearinger, which I'm happy about. He's good from the Cardinals. He'll be he's a safety. They signed, signed Terrell McLean, defensive tackle from the Cowboys. He's pretty good. Stacy McGee from the Raiders, defensive tackle, I think. I haven't heard much about him, but it's a need we have. So they've been making some decent moves on defense. Um, I guess they're talking to Terrell Pryor. I'd like him to sign Terrell Pryor since we've lost Jackson and Garcon. They re-signed... God, I always forget his name. The tight end. Vernon Davis. They re-signed Vernon Davis. And they still have Reed. So they're set as far as tight end goes. I'd like to see him pick up a back. I don't know if the backs they have can... To I mean, can, can go through a whole season. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So... That's how my Redskins are doing. It's kind of a clusterfuck right now. And Dan Snyder, man, I'm so I'm so tired of him. I just I don't know what to say. I don't think the team is going to go anywhere with him being the owner. It, they never have. I mean, yeah, they've had two winning seasons in a row, which is nice, but barely. And yeah, they came. They could have just made that short field goal, Dustin Hopkins. They could have just made that short field goal against Cincinnati in overtime. So they get the tie, they would have been in the playoffs, and who knows. But And if they could have just showed up against the Giants in the last game. But, you know, that's how it is. So, what are other teams doing? Eagles signed Alshon Jeffrey and... The guy from San Francisco that used to be on Baltimore. What's his fucking name? The receiver. They signed him. All right. So, Alshon Jeffrey, he's pretty good. He's not amazing. He looked amazing at times with Chicago, but I don't know. He had some legal, not legal shit, but he had some drug shit going on last year with the Bears, and I don't know. The Eagles need receivers. I guess it's a good sign. I'm going to look up that other receiver real quick. It's really going to bother me because I just I just saw it. Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. Sorry about this. I knew this name. I just forget these freaking things. Um... Yeah. They signed Alshon Jeffrey. And they signed... I don't know. It's not coming up. It's pissing me off. But they signed the receiver from San Francisco. He used to be in Baltimore. He's a fast guy. So, yeah. Alshon Jeffrey is pretty good. This guy, Terrell Pryor? Not Pryor. I just said that. Ah. Uh, it's a name like that. But, yeah, he's a fast guy. He's all right. We'll see how the Eagles do. The Eagles need receivers. It's good, it's a good signings, I guess. Hopefully they, they, they don't do well. It's the one team the Redskins have owned over the last few years. They've beat them five times in a row. Giants signed Brandon Marshall. Great. We have, they have Odell Beckham and Brandon Marshall. It's wonderful. Um, I don't know. So, I'm not sure what the Cowboys have done. Not a whole lot. They they said they're releasing Tony Romo. Looks like they're going to trade him instead. I'm going to miss Tony Romo, man. As a Redskins fan, I'm going to miss Tony Romo. Because as long as Tony Romo was on that team, I knew they weren't going anywhere. I just knew it. So, hopefully them getting rid of Tony Romo won't affect their their tendency to disappoint, not me, disappoint their fans. Um, 
So yeah, that's what's going on in the NFC East right now. Sorry I couldn't think of that guy's name from Baltimore and San Francisco who the Eagles signed. He's another receiver who's pretty decent. So I got Alshon Jeffrey. And, uh, the Eagles are who I'm worried about the most, to tell you the truth. We know who the Cowboys are. Um, so, yeah. That's how it's going. Hopefully we re-sign re Kirk Cousins. We wake the fuck up and re-sign Kirk Cousins. Ah, fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Being a Redskins fan ain't easy, guys. Every time free agency comes around, we're like the laughing stock of free agency. And for good reason. I can't really argue. So, that's my football video for now. I might be back soon. Something else happens. I don't know. Kirk Cousins gets signed. He gets, gets traded. I don't, I don't know. The Redskins sign Tony Romo. Who the fuck knows? I hope not. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'll be back soon with another video, I'm sure. Just frustrated right now about the Redskins. Just another year for the Redskins. Same old, same old. All right, have a great day, guys. See you later.